Welcome back, guys, to some more Back to the Future, the game. This is episode four, and I believe it's called Double Vision. And basically, it's right after episode three, which is Citizen Brown, which is we go into an alternate 1986 with Edna and Doc Brown as, like, the, like, I guess the mayors, the mayor, and then his wife is Edna, and craziness and sores and, like, being controlled and, like, yeah. And then Doc finds out about Edna, what she's doing, and then, and then we try, and Doc's gonna fix the dual, the time machine, and get back to 1931, and fix everything, but then Edna, Edna gets Doc, and, oh my goodness, so, this is where we left off, and we're gonna, we're gonna continue the game right now, let's go, let's go, onward, yes, yes, sure, I don't care, every time you ask me this question, and I always say yes, so, let's go, come on. Come on, flux capacitor, let's go. Quicker, quicker, load, load, load. Hmm? Here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, what? Where am I? Mm -mm. Uh oh. Ah, Citizen Plus. Citizen Plus. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Escape from Marty's Citizen Plus waiting room. Squawk box. Okay. That's not very relaxing. No, it's not. What's in the squawk box? Let's talk to this one. Doesn't look like it's on. Hmm. Check out the window. She's like, hi, how you doing? Uh, hey, uh, how's your day going? Uh, can you please watch him in there? Don't let him out. Thanks. Make sure the McFly boy is prepped for his Citizen Plus treatment by the time I finish with my husband. How is Citizen Brown? I'm afraid it's worse than we imagined. He's gone completely antisocial. Darn. We're using every tool at our disposal to snap him out of it. But I fear that nothing short of a complete personality rebuild will bring our leader back to us. What a load of bull. McFly's fault. Unbelievable, isn't it? One teenage hooligan has brought Hill Valley to the brink of ruin. Ah, well. Let me know when he's ready. I'll be tending to Citizen Brown. Hooligans! These hooligans! Get out of here and rescue Doc. Alright, well, let's look at the locker. and see what's going on. Someone's locked up all my stuff. I'll never get that combination on my own. Hey, psst. Psst, psst, psst. Hey, you. Psst. Hello. What? Um. Hey, could you get me a burger or something? The only food I've had today is a tofu dog. Regrettably, sir, the rigors of the Citizen Plus treatment require you to begin the process with an empty stomach. Why is all my stuff locked in a cage? In order to ensure that Citizen Plus patients don't injure themselves, their belongings are placed in a locked box until the completion of their Citizen Plus treatment. Injure themselves? It's a very intensive process. Some people can't handle it. Can I take a look at my stuff for a second? Why? I, uh, want to make sure my guitar neck isn't getting bent. What? Come on, man. My parents spent a fortune on that thing. Fine. Back away from the door, sir. There. How's the guitar? Broken. I guess it's okay. Good. Did that help? Did I know the combo now? I'll never get that combination on my own. What was the point of him doing that then if I don't Hey, let me out. It's like soundproof. The plant um squawk box. Martin? Ah, 
Dad, is that you? Who else would it be? <gasps> Who are you? Back in the garage. Daddy! What are you doing in the Citizen Plus ward? Edna threw me in here. She can't do that to my son. How can I help? <gasps> I tried to peek over the guard's shoulder to get the combination, but he's too tall. Over his shoulder? Hold on. What? I may have it on tape. Woo! Zoom, enhance. Zoom, enhance. Ha! What? The camera was high enough to see over his shoulder. Nice work, Dad. The combination is two left, eight right, 18 left, 32 right. Four numbers? Hey, your guitar. I'm sorry I tried to throw it out. Yeah, the guitar is pretty cool, but this is what I care about. No fair making your dad all misty, son. <laughs> uh. All right, so thanks, Dad. Thank you for looking over my sh over his shoulder and getting the combination. You're awesome. Um, now what can I do with the guitar? Can I do something with the guitar? Can I like, I don't know, use it on the intercom or something? I can't plug my guitar into that. How about the squawky box? Can I do it in there? Maybe I can do it in there. Ha ha ha. Use item on the squawky box. Playing my guitar over the speaker is going to attract a lot of attention. I should wait until I've got the right audience. So who do you, what? Hold on, my knee brace is being retarded. Okay. So, like... Dad. How can I help, son? That I'm not happy that you're here, but why are you here? I'm looking for your mother. Mom? After you left, she and I had a big old fight, and, well, she went and signed herself up for a full battery of Citizen Plus treatments. <gasps> you tell her about Biff? I tried. You know your mother. Once she puts her mind to something, she's a regular force of nature. I figure that if I can just find her, maybe I can talk her out of this foolishness. All right. Um, is there any way you could help me escape this loony bin? What did you have in mind? I don't know. Maybe override the security systems or something. Override the what? Son, this isn't a science fiction movie. Uh, Edna's out yeah. of control. Those Citizen Plus watches are gonna turn everyone in Hill Valley into robots, starting with Citizen Brown. I always suspected digital watches were evil. Digital the watches, Dad. It's Edna. She's completely lost it. Citizen Edna's crazy? Oh, that's not good. Although it would explain a lot. So, have you found Mom yet? Not yet. You wouldn't believe how many cameras they've got around here. I bet. Um... Dad, I know this is a lot to accept, but... I've got to rescue Citizen Brown so that we can go back in time and stop him from ever marrying Edna in the first place. You're right, son. That is a lot to accept. So let's forget you ever said it. Just concentrate on getting you out of there. Yeah, maybe that's for the best. Hmm. Is there any way you can help me escape this loony bin? What did you have in mind? I don't know. Maybe override the security systems or something. Override the... What? Son, this isn't a science fiction movie. Well, Dad, you're a lot of help. So I got my stuff out of the locker, and now what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Stay close, Dad. I'm as close as I can get, Martin. Why are they calling me Martin? Um, hmm. Hello. What now? Let me out of here. Sorry, sir, but Citizen Plus patients aren't allowed to exit their waiting rooms until the Citizen Plus treatment chamber has been suitably prepped for their procedure. Can I take another look at my stuff? No. Oh man. So now what am I supposed to do? I want to knock him out or something. You can't keep me in here. It's against the law. When you signed your Citizen Plus treatment agreement, you gave the Citizen Plus ward legal approval to incarcerate you until the completion of your Citizen Plus treatment. I didn't sign anything. I 
didn't sign anything. Of course you did, sir. Citizen Edna handed me the paperwork herself. She of course forged she did. it. I don't suppose you believe me if I told you that Edna forged my signature? That's a good one, sir. I don't suppose you believe me if I told you that Edna forged my signature? That's a good one, sir. Well, what am I supposed to do? What, 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 what? Hey, let me out! All I have is my guitar. What else do I have? A newspaper. Crime rate falls to new low. Yeah, because it's a police state. Don't think a picture of my dad would be useful here. Hmm. Doc. Hmm. <gasps> Jennifer. Jen? Hey, Jennifer. I gotta get her attention. Now I can probably use my guitar, right? Playing my guitar over the speaker is going to attract a lot of attention. I should wait until I've got the right audience. And then how am I going to get her attention? Dad. How can I help, son? Could you let me talk to Jennifer? Jennifer Parker? Yeah, she's in the room next door. Let's see, that'd be waiting room beta. Got it. You're all patched in, son. Jennifer. Martin, is that you? Where are you? I'm over here, in the camera. Oh, Martin, aren't you in enough trouble already? Trouble? Jen, what are you talking about? You know, with all the drinking and the PDAs. Jennifer, oh, what's wrong with you? You sound strange. I used to be strange, Martin. But thanks <gasps> to my First Citizen Plus treatment, I'm well on my way to becoming an average, well-adjusted teenager. <gasps> Citizen Plus. Oh no, Jen, not you too. Why is your door open? Now that I'm finished with my Citizen Plus treatment, I'm free to go whenever I want. I'm just waiting for the nice guard to escort me out. Hey, on your way out, do you think you could help me break out of here? Oh, I couldn't do that, Martin. It's against the rules. Oh my gosh. Okay, forget breaking out. Could you at least come visit me? It's it's kind of lonely in here. I don't think it's a good idea for us to see each other until you've undergone your first Citizen Plus treatment. Why not? Because your gosh dang hormones are out of control, Martin. Oh my gosh. Jen, snap out of it. This isn't the real you. I mean, it's kind of like the real, real you, but not like the real you in this timeline. Wow, that's... I know, it sounds crazy. I'd never call you crazy, Martin. You're just sick. I should know I used to be sick too, but now I never want to spray paint a Buick or listen to rock music ever again. <gasps> hey, do you know what time it is? No. Didn't they give you some kind of digital watch when you were done with all that brainwashing? The Citizen Plus watch? I won't get one of those for another five or six treatments. Rats. How'd you wind up in the Citizen Plus program anyway? My dad signed me up, and it's a good thing, too. I was completely out of control. I kind of liked it. Jen, this whole Citizen Plus thing is a scam. Edna's using it to take control of everyone in Hill Valley, including her husband. You know, Citizen Edna told me you were having paranoid delusions, but I had no idea. Oh my gosh. So, what was your Citizen Plus treatment like anyway? It's... it's... well, that's weird. I don't really remember. It must be a side effect of the treatments. <laughs> Could you hang around for a few minutes? It's nice to have someone to talk to. I'll be here until the guard comes for me. Then I'll really have to tell him about how you're hijacking the cameras. Oh, come on. Don't be a narc. I'm not a narc. I'm a good citizen. Wow, she's going to tell him about. Okay, Jen, here's a little something I think you're going to like. At least, 
I hope you still do. Martin? Jennifer? Oh, Martin. He's changing her back. What are you doing? What's going on? Here? He snapped her out of it. I have no idea, sir. I was minding my own business when all of a sudden a horrible noise started coming out of that camera. Well, that's not right. Yeah, well, neither is this. Oh, no my brain. Jennifer. No one. I'm Jennifer Parker, rock and roller. Jen? Oh, yeah, right. Huh? <laughs> huh? Was she dressing up like the guard? Yeah. Jen. No time for small talk, McFly. We need to get you disguised so we can walk out of here. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Calvin Klein underwear? Really? There. How do I look? A little short for a stormtrooper, but it'll have to do. Come on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Holla. Can I walk up? What the hell? Why can't I walk out the door? Oh, I gotta click on it first. That's stupid. Okay, Hotshot, what's next? Now we rescue Citizen Brown. Get the hell out of here and get things back to the way they're supposed to be. Whatever, just as long as I get to break some stuff. I've got a lot of pent-up hostility right now, you know? Miss Parker. What the? Yeah. I'm here to escort you to the lobby. Your father's waiting for you. Can he wait? I was hoping that this attractive young man could take me on a tour of the facilities. I'm afraid I really must insist, miss. Relax, Jennifer. I've got everything under control. Really? Really. No. Okay, then. But first... Ah! What was that for? For saving me, dummy. Let's go, officer. You think no, that... I'm probably gonna have to write you up for a PDA violation. Bite me. I was gonna say. Rock and roll. How am I gonna get past Edna? Because she's right freaking there. I used to think she was a little annoying, but now she's just plain evil. That's the truth. All right, what are we gonna do now? Hmm hmm hmm. Ooh, Zelda. Zelda. Don't touch that. I need the caffeine. Good lord, guy. What the food? Can I eat the food? I have some of that. Feels like I haven't eaten in years. No, that's tannins. He's not allowed to eat it until he's taken his pacification pill. We tried to give it to him an hour ago, but he still hasn't swallowed it. Let me try. I can be pretty persuasive. No. No. Uh, no. 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 Wow, they've really got this door locked up tight. I wonder what sick freak they've got in here. Ah! Biff. I should have known. <laughs> Hi, Biff. Looks like your intercom's busted. Eh, just as well. It'd probably be just a bunch of swearing and mixed metaphors anyway. <laughs> the guard says I'm not supposed to give you any food until you swallow your pill. Disengage occipital overrides. Hmm. I almost feel sorry for the poor guy. Almost. Hi, Biff. Hey, Biff. Guess who your guard is? Peekaboo! <laughs> you want out of here, big guy? Guess they don't work. Come on, Biff. Just swallow your pill.
Ew. That's so gross. Oh. Bet you I'm just get him out or something. Alright, let's go in here. And hope for the best. What are you doing in here? Uh, looking for the bathroom? The next scheduled bathroom break isn't for another 158 minutes. Right. Hmm, okay. Can't go in there. I don't know what kind of movies they're showing Doc, but I don't think he's enjoying them. Don't worry, Evan. It'll all be <gasps> that speaker looks really familiar. Can I hook into it with my guitar or something? Hmm. Do you mind? I'm trying to run a complete personality rebuild on the big man himself here. And? And the last thing I need is your stubby little fingers turning Hill Valley's savior into a drooling rutabaga. Is there a problem over there, citizen? No problem, ma'am. Good. Let's get back to it. So, I think I need the pill from Biff, put it in his drink, and have him drink it. Right? Hey, Shh, busy. But how do I get the pill from Biff? Wait, turn around. This is Jennifer's door. Hey, get me out of here. Sorry, can't hear you in this thing, but thanks for the duds, though. Who is that? Eh, it's broken. I guess Jen did that so the guard won't be able to call for help. Oh, it's the guard that's in there. Ew, that's right. All right, so how do I get Biff's pill? Crack under the door. There I never go. get my hand under there. So what do I use? I don't think a picture of my dad would be useful here. Hmm. I'd never get my hand under there. With the guitar? I can't plug my guitar into that. Oh, you dumb. <gasps> oh, okay. And then have him take the pill and he drops Hi, it on Beth. the newspaper. Right? Come on, Biff, just swallow your pill. And he goes, uh-uh. And it's on the newspaper. Yes! I figured it out. Think Finally. And uh, I got the pill. Biff spit. <laughs> and then I think I put it in his drink, right? Hey, is that a public display of affection over there? What? Uh, sorry, it was just a shadow. Moving <laughs> around and get back to work. Yes, and, sir. And then I touch his drink, right? Nope. Do it himself. Jeez, what have they been feeding Biff? Horse tranquilizers? <laughs> nice. You, God. Who, me? I, I mean, me? Yes, you. As you can see, that slacker of a technician is sleeping on the job again. Please be a dear and tend to the Citizen Plus control panel, will you? Uh, sure. Okay, Doc, I'm in. Now, how do I get you out of here without turning you into a vegetable? Okay. Jeez. Where's the off button on this thing? Hey, an equalizer. At least, I think it's an equalizer. So... Volume. Finally, a word I can understand. Look. Okay, that moved him a few inches. 
Maybe I can blast him right out the door. Rebalance the limbic inverters, please. Gastrosensory? Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Turn that down. That's bad. Okay. Optics. Hmm. Olfactory. I think I know what that means. The... Looks like the aroma tanks have clogged themselves again. Oh, thank you. I hadn't noticed that. Come on, make yourself useful. Okay. I'm sorry about the delay, dear. This would go a lot easier if you just gave up this madness about time machines and altering the past. You should concentrate on the future. There is no future for us. You won't think that in a few more hours. I know. Please, think about the consequences. Tactile. Oh, so, uh, sorry. Hmm. Can I... I can't plug my guitar into that. Optics. Where's Martin? Don't worry, dear. After we're done repairing your damaged mind, we'll fix young Mr. Hmm. McFly, too. I think I go in the other room. Go, 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 go. Okay. Ah! Yes! Okay. Use. Yes! I think I did it. Oh my gosh. Was that? Oh my gosh. You! What are you doing? Get my friend out of here, you nutcase. Wow. Okay, that was a little less dramatic than I had expected. Whoa! -ho. Now do it, now do it, now do it.